We consider it an honor and a privilege to present my brother-in-law, Stan Lundin, as one of this year's recipients of the Community Service Award. Just like Bob, his, his community service has been under the radar. <laughs> Uh, you, you know, we all know about his political career, his legal career, but you may not know how he became interested in a political career. My wife, Stan's sister, and Stan, uh, actually, when they were children, they went out west on a family vacation. And they stopped at this very picturesque desert location. My wife decided it would be a good idea to take Stan's picture. So she got her camera out, had Stan stand in a particular place, and then said, back up a little bit. No, a little bit to the right. No, back up a little bit. A little bit to the right. Back up a little bit. A little bit to the right. At that point, he backed smack dab into a cactus tree. <laughs> Since then, he has been a forward-thinking Democrat. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Hey, Barb, it's all because of you. Uh, Stan serves on the Board of Trustees of Chautauqua Institution, Board of Directors of the Robert H. Jackson Center, the Vestry of St. Luke's Episcopal Church. He's a prior chair of the Fredonia College Foundation. Most recently, he completed his term as chairman of the New York State Commission on Local Government, Efficiency, and Competitiveness, and he is also a member of the State Partnership for Universal Healthcare. And at this point, uh, I'm going to turn this over to Mark. Uh, Stan, as you may know, has two children. Uh, Mark, of course, being one of them. Uh, and John, his other son, happens to be uh, in the Dominican Republic for some reason. I think work-related or something. So Mark, on behalf of uh, Stan's two, kid, two children, would like to say a few words. Thanks. I didn't know this was going to be a roast. I wasn't prepared. So. <laughs> Uh, I just wanted to say, you know, we're always appreciative of looking at our dad as such a great role model for com community service. And much like Bob, you know, we feel like the example that they set have kind of led us to where we are. My brother is so committed to it, he actually works for an organization called Save the Children. You know, couldn't do a little bit more important things, John? Hello. But, you know, we're just proud of the lifelong community service that uh, our dad's committed to both this area and, and the state and, and our country and just are happy to be here to honor him. Uh, one thing I'd like to <clears throat> excuse me say is, is I think Stan's major contribution to our community is the respect that our community has gained due to his public service. He has represented our community and served its interests as mayor, congressman, and lieutenant governor. Therefore, it is my honor and it is my privilege to present to you one of the 2009 Community Service Award winners, Stan Lundy. Thank you, and thank all the members of the Bar Association. I didn't prepare any remarks. I didn't know whether I needed to acknowledge this or not. Um, and you're always in trouble when a recovering politician stands before you without a written text. But I, will, I will attempt to be brief. Uh, thanks, Mark, so much for being here, and Mike, for your collaboration. and. Uh, I think it's really appropriate that you do this event, which I've attended in other years, and honor the legal secretaries because they are so important. And even though I don't practice law, they're still important to me, I want to <laughs> say. Uh, I'm really glad that Debbie and Cindy and Kathy are here uh, because I do hang out at Sotir and Goldman. You can find me there but you can't find me practicing law there anymore. Uh, and please tell the Office of Court Administration that if they should ask. But, uh, 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 I did practice here in this community for five years very actively. 
when I was elected mayor, I naively thought that perhaps I could continue in some way, but uh, Chuck Hall and I spent quite a few hours in the old city hall in those early days and, and practicing law and serving the public was not an option. Um, they doubled my salary, actually, after the first term. Uh, the first time I was elected, it was $10,500, but they actually doubled it so that I didn't have to practice law. I could be a full-time mayor, which is very nice. Uh, it's, it's just great that Mark can be here. He uh, is, as he commended his brother, also involved in uh, service to the state of Ohio and we're proud of both of them and, and delighted in our daughters-in-law. Um, Sarah has uh, been my partner and is so important and it's just a delight to have her with me always, uh, but particularly on an occasion like this. Uh, the Jamestown Bar Association is really outstanding and what you do, what's already been said, I won't repeat, I, I think is terribly important. I see it here at the Jackson Center. Um, Robert H. Jackson was a paragon in our profession and somebody that I think is appropriately honored and Greg uh, has done so much to make this, not just this place, although this place is debt free, right? Greg, <laughs> and, uh, and it's magnificent. Uh, but the program that we have uh, brings to people's understanding worldwide how important justice is. And that justice, Justice Jackson, came out of the Jamestown system. I don't know whether he was involved in a moot court uh, exercise or not, but he would have been if they would have had the opportunity uh, when he went uh, that extra year at Jamestown after graduating from Frewsburg. Uh, this is a great organization and I deeply appreciate your honor. It's, uh, it, it is just instinctive with me. It's not as though I'm making a great sacrifice to be involved either on the board or in some other fashion uh, with these kind of activities. And, and finally, I'll say I am thankful for all of this and all of this background and family and friends, but I'm also thankful that I'm not in Albany anymore. <laughs>